Hey guys, my name is Matt and I'm going to do a series for you guys on how to do line work superheroes. I see a lot of people ask on Facebook about uh, how different people do their line work versions of superheroes and there's a ton of great tutorials on YouTube for different superheroes. Of course Cody Williams has a series on really elaborate superheroes that are fantastic but they're not for line work and there are a few for Spider-Man uh, but not really a whole bunch of others or there's some but they're not really that great. There are two cardinal sins, in my opinion, that people commit when they do line work superheroes. Uh, you see that in some of the tutorials, you see it in some of the pictures people post, and it's just my opinion. I mean, everybody has different opinions and different tastes and whatnot, but I'm going to want to talk a little bit about those in this introduction, about what I think the two cardinal sins are and how you have to avoid that and, and sort of the formula that I've come up with uh, to, to do it differently. So I'm going to show you two examples of balloons I've made up, and these, these embody the two cardinal sins. So here is a Hulk balloon, and this is, some people do this for a Hulk balloon, okay? And of course, a Spider-Man balloon, very similarly, some people do this for a Spider-Man balloon. These are, again, just my opinion and just my taste, but I don't like these at all. I think that they're really bad for two reasons. Um, the first reason is really the most egregious, uh, the most egregious fault of it is that you're doing this hitchhiker body thing. So you're using a purple balloon and a green balloon, and you're going up half the body. It's, and it's The colors are totally asymmetrical. So um, Hulk doesn't look like this. Hulk has a green body. He wears purple pants. Um, you could just you could do purple legs, full purple legs. That's fine. But he's a green top and a purple bottom. And Spider-Man, similarly, is a red top and a blue bottom. And when you do this, you get this asymmetrical thing, and it really doesn't look right. Um, you know, I, I made a <laughs> quick funny example. You wouldn't do this and call it Snow White, right? You wouldn't do half yellow, half blue and go, here's Snow White because she's blue and yellow. You wouldn't do that. She has a blue top and yellow bottom and you would you would do that correctly. So don't do it to superheroes, because, and especially because you don't have to. You can do it just as well. You can, do, uh, you can do it just as fast and with the same number of balloons and you can do it right. So uh, let's, let's, let me show you how to, how to go about doing it right. The one other, um, the other sin, cardinal sin, I think, of doing superhero balloons is, and a lot of people disagree with me on this, and a lot of people will continue to disagree with me, and that's fine, but I hate the superhero heads. I hate them. Um, I like a lot of the Qualitex printed heads. I love the alien. I love the monkey. Um, I love, the, of course, the, the ninja that's exclusive to Continental Sales. I think La Rocks does their own now. Of course, the zombie. I love those heads. They're awesome. The superhero heads suck. I hate them. And uh, the reason that I hate them is, unlike the other balloons, uh, the, those other balloons, the ninja, the, the alien, the monkey, they use the round balloon as the head, and they print on features. On the superhero balloons, they actually print the round head, right? They're, they're printing the head. They're not just printing features on. Like the Hulk head, you lose a lot of the balloon to having to print around the face and the ears and all that stuff, and that it doesn't it doesn't look right. It just, I think it, it looks silly. And the thing is, you don't have to use these. You can do it just as easily um, without doing it with very basic marker work. I suck at marker work, but I, it's really easy, and I'm going to show you. Um, really, really basic marker work that I think looks better than using the superhero heads. Um, and the other thing is it'll save you a balloon. Uh, these are, this is actually three balloons because you're using a green 260, a purple 260, and a Hulk head. And um, you can do a fast Hulk um, that uses two balloons, or Spider-Man, which is my standard line work Spider-Man, is two balloons. He's a one red 260 and one blue 260. Hulk, I usually use three balloons, but I'm going to show you both versions, okay? Uh, so that's going to be my, my series on the line work superheroes that'll hopefully get you guys thinking of how you can go about doing these really awesome line work superheroes. I really hope that it works for you guys and, um, and helps you, gets you thinking um, in ways that you can do uh, do fast superheroes that don't resort to the hitchhiker body, which is a great body for things like like doing an alien that's fully green, or even some superheroes like Batman where he's fully black, you can do a hitchhiker body, it's great. But don't resort to doing the hitchhiker body for characters that, that don't have the asymmetrical color thing going on. I mean, if you're not doing Harley Quinn, you shouldn't do a hitchhiker body. Um, or Two-Face, I guess you could do a hitchhiker body. Or the classic Golden Age Daredevil, you could do a hitchhiker body. Not Marvel's Daredevil, the other one. I'm a geek, I'm sorry. Um, so, uh, so without further ado, uh, let's go into the series. Hey guys, if you like this video, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Also, subscribe, be sure to check out my other videos.